Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do a couple of modifications to improve the latest Yelena Belova Black Widow action figure from the Marvel Legends Puff Editor Build-A-Figure Wave. As usual, please like, comment, share, subscribe, or even hit the super thanks button. I do appreciate all engagement on my channel. So the two biggest things that bugged me about this action figure was that she comes on the familiar catsuit body that we've seen previously used on Natasha Black Widow as well. This one was from the deluxe pack with her bike. I did not like that she only comes with single hinged elbows, especially when you have the double hinged elbows with the concealed pins on a body like Shriek. The Black Widow character really needs double hinged elbows, especially since she uses her hands with those firearms and weapons quite often, and it's really a part of her fighting style as well. Next, I also don't like that the cat suited legs just do not want to go closer together. So this is as close as they go, and she ends up having this really awkward A stance. So I'm going to improve the elbows as well as the legs, and you can probably also do the same for the other cat suited bodies on other Black Widow figures. I just want to say straight up that I'm going to be using the arms from the Shriek figure onto this cat suited body, so you, you would need to have a spare upper body section of the Shriek action figure. So first thing we want to do is heat and pop off the arms of the Shriek torso. Next we're going to heat up the Yelena action figure and also pop off her arms from the shoulder joints and also pop off the legs from the hip ball joints. Now these are made from a softer plastic so they're quite easy to pop off. To get her legs together and make them more natural in her standing neutral vanilla pose, we're gonna have to modify that socket. As you can see over here there is an inner rim to that socket as well as that outer rim that connects to the rest of the sculpt of her thigh. We're gonna use just a hobby knife and carve out this much plastic between that inner and outer rim on the bottom side of that ball socket so that way her legs can go closer together in a more vanilla stance. So for the first mod we're looking at her right leg and zooming into that ball joint you want to use a hobby knife and just remove that much material from that ball socket. Having less material over here will help you get her legs closer together. Next onto the arm swap from the Shriek body of course we're gonna have to pop off all the Shriek accessories like her hands and that bracelet and we're left with an arm that's cast mostly in a black plastic but with white paint on the forearm and the shoulder. To remove the white paint I'm gonna use a nail polish remover. Just make sure that what you get is gonna be acetone free because acetone actually corrodes and damages plastic. And so to remove the paint I'm just gonna soak a cotton pad in the nail polish remover and just rub off the paint. So using that acetone free nail polish remover and removing all the white paint of the Shriek arms, the Shriek arms are now a plain black plastic with those really nice concealed double hinged elbows. The next step is to fit these Shriek arms into the Yelena torso. However, I want to point out that over here we have the original Yelena catsuit body arms. You can see that these two pegs are not the same size. The catsuit body has a bigger peg on those shoulders while the Shriek arm has a smaller peg and the separation between the peg and the arm is a little longer. So if you pop the Shriek arms directly into the catsuit body, these arms would be loose and be swinging around. The simple solution is to use a little bit of cling wrap, the type that you use to wrap your food before sticking them into the refrigerator. And you can use exactly the same cling wrap and just wrap that peg on the Shriek arm before popping it into the Yelena torso. Another option is to use a little bit of 3.5 diameter heat shrink, plug those strips onto that peg and then heat it to shrink it and have a snug fit while at the same time enlarging the peg so that it will fit into the torso. So this is what the Shriek arm peg looks like with one layer of heat shrink. You can see that the peg sizes are now closer so we would have a better fit to that catsuit torso. So now I'm gonna heat the Yelena torso and pop these two Shriek arms on. Her right arm will be the one with the heat shrink while the left one will be the one with the cling wrap. So heating Yelena's torso and her legs and putting all the parts back together again. You can see now she's able to put her legs closer together for a more natural neutral pose. And of course now she gets the double hinged pinless elbows that get you very good range. She's even able to touch her hair and her shoulder. So this to me is a massive improvement for this figure. And just trying out the fit of those two arms on her shoulders. The right one has the heat shrink while the left one is using the cling wrap. I think they are both snug and they can hold up their weapons just fine. With a good bit of resistance in the both of those joints. 
However, I will say that I personally prefer the heat shrink solution because it feels more permanent than the cling wrap. And I'd like to say that I also considered upgrading the Yelena figure with the Shriek legs as well because they've got the concealed double hinged knees. However, the ball joints at the hips are a different size, so it's going to be hard to fit the Shriek legs onto this catsuit body. I also wouldn't recommend upgrading her legs because the Shriek legs are thicker and more curvy. So you might have some problem fitting this belt and harness back over this Shriek thigh. But all things considered, I'm quite happy with the way that I've upgraded Yelena despite the minor annoyance of having the pins still exposed on her knees compared to the really nice concealed ones on the elbows. So of course with the more articulated arms with a double hinged elbow, she can become way more expressive with her arms and her weapons. Over here I have her borrowing her gauntlets from the grey suited 90s Black Widow and I think she looks fantastic, way more expressive with those double hinged arms and she looks really badass with these gauntlets. And finally the most satisfying advantage of this modification is that she can finally hold her sniper rifle correctly like a seasoned professional with the stock going to her shoulder and the eyepiece to her visor so she's looking into it and this definitely makes the figure look more believably like an assassin and she's using her sniper rifle the right way. I hope you found this video useful and I definitely encourage you to modify and enhance this Yelena figure. Please like, share, comment, subscribe or even hit the super thanks button. Thanks for watching, take care and stay safe.